All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Tuesday evening, and tonight we're going to take a look at a brand of watches I've never actually looked at before. Uh, Earnshaw Watches reached out to me, it's been probably a month or so ago, and said that they had uh, one of their newer watches coming out, the Beaufort, uh, probably mispronouncing that terribly, the Beaufort uh, Multi-Automatic, which is a calendar watch, calendar style automatic watch and stuff like that. I uh, looked at some of the pictures and I decided it was definitely something I would like to take a look at here on the channel. So as it is with new brands of watches, it took them a little bit to get this watch out to me, but now they've got these things available at their website. They're actually on sale. Uh, now this company is out of uh, Lancashire, England. Lancashire, I think it is. Again, I'm probably mutilating that, guys, because I'm from uh, the middle of California. So, But anyways, they're from England, and um, they've got these watches now on their website. They're going for £199 right now, which is I think is a pretty good deal if you guys want to check this watch out i'll leave a link down below to their website where you can definitely go check these out so i'm going to go ahead and stop talking let's take a look the way this box uh this watch excuse me comes packaged here is the box simple cardboard on the outside but very nicely done with the earnshaw logo 1805 on the top now if you guys are not familiar thomas earnshaw is kind of the, known as the father of the um navigational or i think it's navitime uh, chronometer and so basically uh, back in 1805 he was the guy that invented the chronometer uh, that we all know today and stuff like that so they've kind of borrowed from that name and i think they kind of represent themselves with that name i don't think there's any actual lineage associated so very nice wooden box here the earnshaw logo painted on there very nicely it is raised very nicely applied there also the logo on top this is a fully wooden box with hinged uh, hinges there and stuff. Very nicely done, very nice hefty box. It doesn't feel like light, inexpensive wood. So we'll go ahead and pop this open and take a look. Ooh, there goes a the little book that came out there. And go ahead and take a look at that. Inside of here, I'm sure it's gonna be some information about the watch. And let's see here, Earnshaw 1805. You see the shipping and stuff like that, which is awesome. Uh, really cool picture there actually so inside you have your I'm assuming this is your warranty card uh, let's see this opens up here okay yeah there's your warranty information uh, limited to your warranty on these watches as always guys as I always tell you be sure to read all this information as far as your warranty how it's applied to the watch that you have just purchased uh, so that you're not surprised by anything out there going ahead and looking at the book here inside of here I'm not quite sure. This is probably going to go through some of their different watches. Yeah, it looks like it's going to cover a number of their different movements. Pretty standard, you know, for the industry to go ahead and use a nice book that covers a whole bunch of stuff. And that's cool. So as you guys can see there. Nice. So neat little book here. And I think inside, yeah, there's a little bit of history on Thomas Earnshaw there. Uh... Kind of gives you a background on renowned English watchmaker, horologist, clock watch, Thomas Earnshaw. So there you go. So information there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the watch, guys. I'll bring it up here out of the box. And here we go, guys. We have this multi-function. Now this has the function of day, date, month, uh, which is very neat automatic functioning watch here, as you guys can tell. Open heart design, as you guys can see down there, just above the 6 o'clock, you can see that uh, mainspring moving along there, or the uh, balance wheel itself, and then that flywheel turning, which is a really, really cool touch. Open heart design with some blued screwing, screws, excuse me there. The hands appear to be blued also on this watch. I'm not sure if these are painted or blued. I think these would be considered Dauphine style hands with loom inside of them. Very nicely done watch. Now, as you guys can see, this has what I'd consider like a champagne colored dial on this watch with the blue accents. Very beautifully done. And trying to get enough light on here to see, there is definitely a lot of texturing to those subdials as and also the main dial. As you guys can see, the, the lines all the way around uh, on the main dial there on the outside where your, your Arabic numerals are. Those are applied numerals, as you guys can see. Nicely applied, actually. Getting a little bit of glare off the lights in here, guys. I will tell you this is a mineral crystal. It is a heavily domed mineral crystal. It does not appear to have any AR coating on it at all. So over here at this 9 o'clock position, you guys, you can see that is the month function there. At the 3 o'clock, you have your day function. And up here above, or below the 12 o'clock, excuse me, you guys have your uh, 
date function there. Very neat, you guys can actually see through the movement, you can see the wheels that turn around and actually um, give you that date function there. Each of these individual uh, complications here is controlled by a pusher on the side of the case of watch here, guys. Obviously, the time is controlled by your standard crown, which is a signed crown there. But this pusher here controls your uh, day here over the side. Your top one up here on the left-hand side of the case actually controls your uh, date function up there at the top. And the bottom one here that's around the 8 o'clock position, you guys can see it there, that will actually control that month, month function there. Now, guys, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you. I don't think this is actually like a true calendar watch where it actually knows the month and stuff like that. But I'm not really sure. If it is, I'll definitely do a follow-up review on it. Now, guys, getting into the dimensions of this watch, this is a big watch. Now, the advertised dimensions of this watch are 43 millimeters in dimensions, obviously not including the crowns, 15.5 millimeters of thickness. I'm sure that's a contribution of those uh, all those different um, functions of this watch. And I measured a 52 millimeters from lug to lug. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the caliper here, guys, and we'll show it zeroed out there, and I have checked this a number of times. I actually just checked the diameter on my Breitling uh, before the video just to make sure, and it came in at a uh, exactly 42 on my Breitling, which is what it's advertised at. I'm getting a, a bigger case size on this, more like 44 millimeter on this than the advertised size. And I'm getting a lug to lug, as I said, of about 52 on this watch. You guys can see dead even. And then a thickness, let's go ahead and pull it off at this nice, it, it does come in this really nice leather pillow, real leather pillow here, guys. But a thickness on this watch of, of man, this this is, I'm getting 16 and a half, not 15 and a half. So a full millimeter thicker than advertised from what I'm getting. But I think, like I said, that's a contribution, number one, to the number of functions in this watch, and then the heavy, heavy domed crystal on this. 316L stainless steel is used around on the case of this watch, and it's done very nice, nice polishing all the way around. As you guys can see along the side of the case, it has almost this coin edge uh, detail here. Nice lugs coming out of the watch. These are a 22, let me verify that. I'm almost positive. These are, yeah, 22 millimeter lug opening on this watch. So good, you know, if you decide to change the strap out on it. This does come on a uh, genuine leather strap, as you guys can see here. Nice, comfortable strap. I actually have worn this watch to get a feel for it. Nicely done uh, buckle, which has actually the Earnshaw logo there, guys, as you can see. And this this tang here, which it's just really nicely done. A lot of attention to detail on the uh, buckle for this watch. So flipping it over, we can get a look at the movement on this watch. This is what I believe to be a seagull movement in this watch. I'm not exactly positive on that, guys, but it does have a lot of perlage work done to it, bluing to the screws. So it is an absolutely gorgeous movement in this watch. And as you guys can see, when you get to the certain position, you guys can see my finger there moving through, and you can see that flywheel turning there. It's actually a skeletonized movement, so you can see clear through the watch. They're calling this an ES8083-02, but again, I think this is a 29-joule uh, calendar movement from Siegel. If you guys happen to know the exact uh, specific model number on this movement, let me know. Let me know. So, Guys, I, over, I really like this watch. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here and get this watch on the wrist to let you guys see what this looks like on my 7-inch wrist. I know it's a big watch, uh, but I think that comes down to the complications that you get in this watch. I think it's a really neat looking watch and not bad for the price of 199 uh, pounds sterling. So let me go ahead and get this on the wrist, guys, and we'll take a look at it and go out with a wrist shot. All right, guys, check this out. Bam! I mean, look at that thing. That's a big, it's a, it's a big watch. It definitely sits up on the wrist has a lot of wrist presence and provenance. I, I actually like the way it looks. Uh, I was working around the house today in the office and I wore this all day today and it was kind of fun. It was a neat watch. Keeps really good time. I've had this watch for just a few days now and it keeps excellent time. I found that seagull movements and a lot of the Chinese movements keep really, really good time, at least initially. I have not timed them over the long haul, but nice watch here, guys, from Earnshaw. Oh, nice, nice. Look at, he left the hang tag on it. That's awesome. But it does look good. It looks good on the wrist. So there it is, guys. The Earnshaw Beaufort uh, automatic calendar watch 
These watches are available at the website. I will leave a link down below, as well as a few other links where you guys can find some of these Earnshaw watches. I think they're available on Amazon, possibly, so I will leave the links for that also, guys. All right, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the video, guys, or the, the <laughs> if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please do, please do. All right, thanks, guys.